everyone. Bonjour. Welcome back to Déjà Vu Thrifting. If you are a new viewer, uh, my name is Rachel, and I am a thrifter and a reseller on eBay, Etsy, and Poshmark. Today, we're going to make our way to central Ottawa. I'm going to visit a Salvation Army store. I've never been to that one, so it'll be just as new to me as it is to you. And... Uh, We'll see what they have. So let's go in and check this out. Allons-y. Okay, guys. So I'm going around the building because I'm having a hard time finding the entrance. It's a well-hidden gem. Let's hope. Okay, we finally found the entrance. So right there when we come in, there's frames, pictures, mirrors. Oh, that's a nice one. It's not leather, but it looks like it has a vintage feel, although I don't think it is vintage. Hmm, it's interesting. See the entrance, very small. So here are two framed cross stitch pieces. I think they're from Michelle Thomas. There are asking $7.99 each, probably would sell 40 for the pair. These little hurricane lamps are not vintage. They're reproductions. These little egg cups. I've seen so many of those on eBay, Etsy. 99 cents each. I don't know. I don't want to buy something. And there's so many of them online for sale that there's no way really to compete. So here we are in the shelves of metal goods. Let's see, oh, the copper, what is this? Oh, I think that's a, like a candy or snack server from Teleflora. I think that's what it is. Let's check that out. Yes, yes, that's what it is, 1984. Hmm. I don't know. I guess I would have to check. We'll check online. See the comps. This, oh, <laughs> it's very cheap plastic. I thought it was metal. These brass candle holders, they're heavy, but they don't match. This is nice. There's two of them. Hmm. Oh gosh, $14.99. <laughs> okay, we're gonna leave that there. This bank brass tower. I've seen many of them. The chain is broke here. And I don't think it'd be worth my while at $5.99. So, yeah, I think, I don't know. I'll, I'll look for comps. We'll see. Stand by on those. There's a nice picture. Also copper. Seem to be in very good condition. In need of polishing. But that's not a problem. I can do that. $5.99, that's reasonable. Again, maybe I'll do some comps, but I think, yeah, I can fix that. Let's put that in the cart. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll check online. I see a jelly ring in copper here. I don't know how popular that would be. Most people who collect them like to have uh, animals or, or fish or lobster to display on the wall. So we'll just leave it there. Keep on checking the shelves. This, oh no, okay. Oh, that's a nice one. 
copper kettle. Very nice. $3.99, that's a reasonable price too. Let's see, oh wow, impeccable condition inside. I'm definitely going to take this. A lot of clear glass here. This piece is vintage, but the gold has all been faded away. Lots of vases and glasses. Some of the shelves are pretty bare too. Oh, that's a cute little turtle. What does it say? It came out of some Sears, made in China. Oh, I like those. Oh, those are definitely vintage Japan. It's a it's a shaker, two ninety nine. Very big, very nice condition, and here's the matching one. Wow, that's huge. Very good condition. I'm very happy about this find. Yes. Let's take them both, put them securely in the basket. There we go. And just we'll keep looking. Little turtle. I like that uh, that cat in the back here. Hang on. It's a cookie jar, I think. Oh, but it has a chip. Oh well. We'll just keep looking. That's a cute little mug with hearts in 2D. Plastic. What's that little wooden lion? Yeah, it's a little lion. What is it for? Oh, I think it might be a door stopper. But it's so lightweight. How could it possibly... Is that a chip? Uh, yeah, there's a little chip but near his mouth. We'll leave it there. A pottery bowl. Probably a project piece. Another one. What's this? Oh, those are floating candles. But probably like from China or dollar store. It's not through vintage. Yeah, it's a reproduction. Another project piece, pottery. That's a little trinket box, that's nice. Signed, hmm, Julie. I like this one, that's very nice too. chips. That's a cute piece. What does it say? Hmm. What's the price on that? $4.99. See, I would not have a big margin for profit. 
I don't see myself selling that more than 15. I'll just keep on looking. There's more pottery here, like a little pate or butter just dish, sorry, with the knife. There's another one here too. Nova Scotia. I think that is a um, Kincaid piece. I've seen that before. The little high lighthouse has a light. Works with a battery. I don't think. Yeah, it doesn't light up because probably no batteries in that. Inside, split rock light. Two thousand four Thomas Kincaid. I'm very indecisive, so I'll put it back. We have lots of vases. Here is a nice pitcher slash vase, pottery piece. Nothing underneath. It's cute, but I don't know how well it would do. Those are nice glasses, too. This is a trinket box shaped like a iron. Okay. Oh, this is probably Blue Mountain. Indeed it is. The uh, internet is saturated with those, so oh, this is very lightweight. <laughs> is that a, a bank? It's a shelf sitter. Very cute, however, hmm, I don't know what uh, the profit margin would be on that, so I'd rather not take a chance. Stick with what I know. That's another nice piece, unsigned. It's very lightweight though. That is Charming Tales. I have some for sale, they don't do well, so we will leave that there as well. That's another cute frog. What else we have here? Some moles. Little sheep. Made in China. Oh, I like this. This is really cute. Oh, very nice. It's like flowers and Four ninety nine, yeah, flowers and butterflies. It's in really good shape. It says Hungary. Oh, I think I know this. Hang on, I think it's called Zolde or something like that. Yeah, no chips. Let's get that. That's a good find. Ongoing. There's a ginger jar. Fortunately, it's not the best quality. Oops. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was made of porcelain or or ceramic, but it's just plastic. There's another hurricane lamp. Hong Kong. Oof. Should I? Should I? I wonder. What's the price? Six ninety nine. See, no. Profit wise, I'll leave it there. 
takes time to list and take pictures. So I try to stay with at least a $20 profit margin. This is nice. This is handmade from bark. This is real bark. Wow. Yeah, that's a that's a home project, I think. Not for me, but someone might like that. I don't want to store it till next year. It's too late now to ship to uh, everyone for Christmas this year. Let's see. Camel. Made of leather, I think. Oh gosh, that's cute. <laughs> that's definitely handmade. It's a candle holder. Here we have uh, quite a few pieces from King's Crown flash painted uh, diamond pattern. Bigger, smaller glasses. You can see it's in poor condition. All the paint is faded out. So that's a no no. A few Christmas decorations still up on the shelves. This is the cutest thing, look at this, to put your toothbrush. That's a nice wooden sculpture. Uh, unfortunately, there's a kind of a slice right out of it. That's a train with the caboose and the wagon on top just taped together $5.99 it's from Avon we have here Christmas mugs and glasses these are very nice they are modern and there's only three What else we have here? Some bowls. Oh, what is this? This is a pottery ashtray. Definitely vintage. Probably from the 70s or 80s. Very large. The price is good. It is signed SS. So it is a project piece, but very well done. I will definitely take that. Here we have some masks. Oh, they're very lightweight. This kind of is similar, and this one as well. They're too lightweight, though. This is nice. Oh, it's missing a tusk. That is bamboo. Carved, it's a turtle carved in a, a bamboo piece. Hmm. These are, oh, Mona Lisa coasters. This very lightweight, probably home sense goods. Well, what else? This is a oh, plastic, of course. Oh, I like this. This is nice. What a beautiful piece. It's all wood. Very good condition. 
Oof, the price. Okay. No. <laughs> $14.99. I have these mugs at home. That's Ray Dunn. Namaste. Okay, we'll take that for sure. It's a good price too at $1.99. Very good condition. Yep. Let's put that in. Anything else? We'll look. See for a look. It's still good. This is from Home Sense. Oh, it's been reduced quite a few times. So we'll look for something else. That seems to be a vintage. Definitely, yeah. Neato craft. I'm not familiar. It's the shipping of the dish set that is very challenging. And there's matching right here. There's more. Let's put them all together. Here we go. This is definitely vintage. There's two plates. The Friendly Village, made in England. It's a cute little pottery vase, mini vase. More vintage set. Mm. So here we are. That's the haul for today. It's not a big one, but I think I have some pretty good quality items. So it was worth uh, the trip. My total for spending at the Salvation Army was $21.53. That includes the 10% discount for senior citizen. Uh, they have that discount every day of the week. Uh, it's 10%. So that's a good thing that always helps a little bit. So first of all, we'll start with this here, the um, Namaste. My finger was in the way, sorry. Namaste Radon mug. I paid $1.99 for it. It's in very, very good condition. And these mugs go online for probably around 18 to 22 dollars, something, something like that. This over here is a project piece, as it is. Uh, I showed it, I think, in the video. It, it is sign SS, but based on the glaze, and I see here there is a tiny little uh, chip on one side that I missed when I picked it up but it is still a very nice uh, retro, mid-century look uh, ashtray made of ceramic, paid $2.99 for it. Even with the little chip, I think I should probably get between 28 and 32 for it easily. Then we have uh, these very nice vintage salt and pepper shakers. They are very big. So you can see my hand beside it. Like these are huge. This one was $2.99. This one was $3.99. So for $7 investment, I know that I will probably quadruple my money on that. So that is also a very good thing. I'm happy about that. Here we have this, I believe it is copper plated kettle. It is very lightweight, but it is in pristine condition inside. I don't think it's ever been used. And it's a very nice find that I'm happy about. I believe this will probably go, oh, sorry, I paid for, I paid for $3.99. So I'll probably be going around $24 to $28, I assume. 
we have this nice porcelain vintage trinket box, almost uh, like it, it, sh dome, it has a dome, so it's almost like a cushion shape. Very nice condition again. No chips, no cracks. And this is, uh, I paid uh, $4.99, and it is, uh, I can't pronounce it right, but it's Zolne. It's from Hungary, and it has a butterfly and floral pattern. And I paid, yeah, I, I mentioned it, $4.99. And then this will probably be going between $25 and $35. This is not a vintage item, although it is, uh, it looks, it is made to look like one. It is like a resin plastic wood mix. I don't know. I can't really, I have a very hard time figuring out what it's made of. And it was $2.99. So this, this piece here uh, in someone who has a very classic look, uh, boho style could actually uh, use this mirror or take the mirror out and put a nice photograph in it. And then on my way out, I grabbed some baggies. I usually don't go for baggies, but these were just there. <laughs> they come and jumped at me. So these are four shot glasses with a theme of fishes. Like this one says uh, sharks. Sharks, here's looking at you. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's like, see the eye? It's like an underlay. It's really cool. It's like almost like a 2D effect. They're all the same as far as the 2D um, effect. This one is a minnows and it does say you'll, sorry, you should talk. There, I need to put my glasses on. Uh, this one is whales. Drinking again, A, as the good Canadian would say, drinking again, A. And then uh, suckers, again, the eyes, it's so cool. Looks like it's following you. And it says uh, down the hatch. So if you know someone who likes to have a little shot before they go fishing or coming back from fishing and celebrate their catch, these would be wonderful. They would certainly appreciate that. And then in the bag, there was also this little mug that is uh, has a dice attached to it. It's just, a, this I think I will just re-gift um, to the Salvation Army in another bag. So this is it. This is the haul for today at Salvation Army. If you enjoyed the video, please I appreciate a thumbs up, uh, a like, a share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the little bell so you get notification when a new come uh, when a new video comes out. And I'll see you next time. À la prochaine.